City officials in one central Florida community are threatening to take drastic action if its residents don't stop wasting water. This is happening in Groveland, and it comes after the town's water tower was nearly tapped dry. Local 6's Charnel Wright is there live. Charnel, what, uh, Charnel, what started all of this? Well, it's a combination of things here, Bob. Take a look at the tank behind me, about 750,000 gallons in that tank right there. We're told by Public Works that it's filled at a rate of 500 gallons a minute. But yesterday morning, customers withdrew three times that amount. In the morning now, the tank dropped to critical levels. And now the city blames residents who are not following rules. And take a look at those homes are right there in the distance, nearly squeezing them dry. This is low. This is a low pressure for us now. Yeah. yeah. And does that concern you? Oh, yeah. <laughs> it doesn't make me happy. Nor does it make it easy. The faucets and showers in Krista Eisenhower's Groveland home are still feeling the effects from yesterday's critically low water levels at this County Road 565A plant. Eisenhower's is one of 1,100 homes where H2O either slowed to a trickle or stopped flowing completely for about a half hour on Thursday, disrupting morning routines, including that of her husband's. Then when he turned it back on to finish shaving it, he had no water. <laughs> Not a laughing matter for City Public Works Director Larry Walker. It is frustrating. If they want a green lawn, they're going to water talking about the residents who water their lawns on days and hours when they're not supposed to. Walker says that's the problem, especially now since the hot weather has hit. He has called for a precautionary boil water notice because of possible bacterial contamination, which can happen when water reaches critical levels like this. The backup well has kicked in, but the city wants to prevent this from happening again, vowing to go after the residents who don't follow the rules. We'll go out and we'll shut people's irrigation systems off. People like Stephanie Zwart. I don't even know what the schedule yeah. is, actually. Yeah, I don't. Local 6 caught her sprinkler running despite today's restrictions. Because a lot of times the homeowners don't know. They buy a home, they move in, the irrigation system set by the landscape company. We have to abide by it, so they should, too. Now this boil water notice is not just affecting the homes you see there behind me, but also businesses. If you look just straight across right there, you can see the Subway restaurant. We ate there earlier today, and in the bathroom they had a note posted saying that asking people not to wash their hands, but use hand wipes that were there because of the boil water notice. They're saying that the workers there are using handy wipes themselves, antibacterial wipes. And speaking of that boil water notice, we're told that the water was tested and the first test came back fine. They have a second test and they believe they're getting the results tomorrow. So if they find out tomorrow that the water is okay, then they will lift that ban. Reporting live here in Groveland, I'm Charnel Wright, Local 6.